The governor says programs that provide syringes to people dealing with substance issues will cause more harm than good. In a statement, he says there's research that backs his reasoning, but organizations in the state beg to differ, and they are hoping for a turnaround. One of the misnomers behind harm reduction is really that it enables or encourages drug use, uh, and there's just no research that, that uh, backs that up. According to Governor Pillen, syringe service programs, or SSPs, have been shown to increase drug deaths and are not effective at decreasing usage and disease transmission. Assistant Research Professor at UNL, Patrick Haybecker, says he hasn't heard of such research. He sent us a statement saying, the governor's veto letter does not take care to point at a 2022 study that showed an association between SSPs and higher opioid-related mortality rates, adding, there is a large amount of research showing that SSPs do not increase drug use and that participants in SSPs have higher rates of entering treatment than if the SSP was not present. Meanwhile, organizations in Nebraska like Centerpoint that address substance issues are in support of the bill and say it creates a bridge between people that use substances and treatment. Harm reduction programs really aim to uh, meet people where they're at uh, and to destigmatize de uh, uh, people who are using drugs so that they start to engage in other health services uh, and make, start to make healthy decisions for themselves which eventually uh, hopefully would include them uh, seeking out uh, services for the substance use issues. In a statement released by the governor's office, he says, quote, we should support less deadly ways to combat the crisis and urge legislators to sustain his veto. Legislative Bill 307 was passed 30 to 7 last Thursday. It's the same amount of votes needed to override the governor's veto. Senator Hunt says she believes that legislators will maintain their stance on the bill, something Senator George Duncan echoed this afternoon. A number of my colleagues from all different walks of life got together and said they thought that bill helps everyday people and solves a real problem. So I am hopeful that we as a legislature can stand up moving forward and say, no, this is how we feel, this is how we voted. Centerpoint says they plan to be one of the safe syringe programs in Lincoln if LB 307 is passed. Really what this would do would enable us to work directly with those people uh, uh, and engage them. The idea behind the veto to override the veto is expected to happen within the next five working days. We'll continue to follow this story. Reporting in the newsroom, Chanel Taylor McCarthy, 1011 News. And that could happen soon. All right, Chanel Taylor, thanks for that report.